Hey everybody, this is Steve on the Guru Brood. Today we'll continue our discussion on PHP tutorials. We're taking these in order, so if you missed the classes, as usual, you can follow this link and watch the entire series. This will take you to the whole playlist of all our PHP tutorials. Okay, on with our class for today. Today we're talking about the headers command. The headers command allows us to take a user and move them to a different web page altogether. Um, you have to use the headers command before any output is sent to the page. Other than that, it's a really nice command. I use it all the time. Today I'm going to show you how to do a little secret super user page so that you can send your friends off to another page if, if the password is incorrect. So let me show you how that's done. We'll try to have some fun with this command, the headers. Okay, we're here at my computer and I'm going to show you the product and then I will show you how I did it. So here's my super secret area. And if you come in here and you say, okay, my name is Bill and my password is open and you hit the submit key nope sorry wrong username well Bill's gonna go back and say okay my name is Steve and my password is open and you hit submit well still the wrong password so as you can see this is a intelligent little piece of code that can um, tell if a user is supposed to be here or not the actual right answer is Steve and the password is admin A-D-M-I-N let's try that submit and you can see I got right in now I did all this coding with without any databases there's only one username and one password, but other than that, um, it's fully functional and, and fully works. If you've noticed, also, it's uh, it knows if there's a wrong username or a wrong password. For instance, I'll put the wrong username in first, Bob, and my password I'll write as admin. So it says uh, there's a wrong username. So if I go back and I put the right username, Steve, and a wrong password, I'll just put tree or something, then it says it's the wrong password. So this code does know if it's a wrong username or password or both, and it's just a matter of um, showing you how this is done. There's actually one page of PHP code, and I will bring that up for you so you can take a look at that. This PHP code right here is all that's required to make all that I just showed you how to have the intelligence. And the rest of it is just some HTML pages with the words on there and the form that you can log in with. Um, I'll get into how to write this in just a minute. I want to show you my different web pages, so you, or my HTML pages. The first one is the login page. And this is called login HTML. And if you have seen our forms pages from before, we talked about get and post. If you miss that class, we'll put another link up here. Um, you can go back and watch how we um, code the HTML pages so that it will take user input and then it will have a submit button, such as here. And then, um, so that is the um, login HTML. And then we have another HTML page called Welcome that we wrote. And the Welcome page is the actual super secret page. <laughs> and that would be the destination if the password and the username are right. And that's here. And then we have a wrong password page. And it's just an HTML page. It says, sorry, wrong password. Authorized access only. And then we have another one just like it, but for the username. And that says, sorry, wrong username, authorized access only. So 
you know, one, two, three, four. There's four HTML pages counting the form. And then the one PHP page to discriminate against uh, username and passwords. So let, let's look at that now. Okay, so I'm trying to show you my PHP page that discriminates for the usernames and passwords. Here's the first part is I bring in the variables with a post. And again, if you go back and you watch those other classes, because these classes are set up so that you learn as you go. So you really need to go back and look at these classes. Um, I take the name and the password variables and assign them to the name and then password. And then I come down here and I check the word name first. Now I don't know if I've been over this. Um, variable yet but it's if not and you can see um, normally if you had if equal to I would have two equals if I put an explanation point and an equal sign that means not equal to equal equal would mean equal to so this if statement and again I have another if class you got to go back and watch that if the name string, which is our username that they typed in, is not equal to Steve, and it has to be a capital S. This is all um, capital sensitive, and I'll prove that in a minute. If it's not equal to Steve, then do everything inside these brackets right here. And what that will do is it will actually use the new command called header, and it will take them to this HTML page called wrong username and wrong username is here so if they don't get my name right then they will be sent here okay okay if they did get that right then it goes on to the next one if the password and there's the password coming in here is not equal to admin and then send them off to wrong password HTML. So there we're using that header command again and we're sending them off to wrong password. And wrong password HTML is just like wrong username HTML. It's just the words have changed. Here's the wrong password prompt here. So as you can see the the actual username right here, Steve with a capital S and the password, admin, here, is hard-coded into the actual PHP code. But this is PHP code, and, and certainly no one can right-click and read your code. That only happens with HTML. So it's perfectly fine to put username and passwords within PHP code, because there really is no way to read it. Now, if you have many username and passwords, you would want to use a database and keep track of those but since we're just using the one this is perfectly fine to do it this way so I've hard-coded Steve with a capital S now I did want to show you let's go back okay so here I am at my my login page I'm going to show you that a lowercase Steve is different than an uppercase S Steve so I'm putting in Steve lowercase and then my password will be admin. I'm going to hit the submit key. And it thinks my username is wrong. And it is because capital Steve is different than a not capital Steve. So let's recap this real quick. What I would do is I would go ahead and write four different HTML pages. My first HTML page would be the login HTML. It would be this page. It would include the form uh, to, for a user to input their username and their password. And I would send this through with a submit button. And we have classes on that. You'll just have to look back through. And then the second page that you'll have to have is you'll have to have a page for the wrong username. And that is this one. It's just a simple page that says, sorry, you've put in the wrong username. And then the last one that you'll need, or I'm sorry, the second to the last one is the wrong password one, which is this one, wrong password. 
and then you'll need one that is the right information if everything else has gone right this will be the page that they're ultimately after that will contain all the super secret stuff here <laughs> okay now into the code we're looking you want to open it with a PHP tag you can comment it if you like you want to get the name and the password in the form of a post and you want to assign the name string from name password string to password and then using an if statement you want to check the name string and make sure that it does not equal Steve if it does not equal Steve it'll do the things here in the brackets and then we use our header command to send them off to the wrong username HTML and then if that checks out okay it'll go through to the next one and it will check out our password string it'll check it against admin in lower case and if it does not equal admin does not with this then it will send them off to the wrong password HTML that we wrote and then it will exit if both of those pass it will go ahead and it will send them off to the welcome HTML and where they can get all the secret information you could stop right there and not have a welcome HTML page and you could actually put all your secret information in right here if you wanted to that way you wouldn't have to have an HTML page that had the secrets on it you could actually put the secrets uh, you know, this is the, the secret if you wanted to do it that way and then that way you know you wouldn't have to send them off anywhere okay so this is taking all the PHP tutorial classes that I've taught you thus far and putting them together and making a small package that makes sense to you and can be used in a real world environment I know when you're working with the web it's password 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 so this is a good example of how to use a password that's completely secure um, I want to thank all our new subscribers that have come on board with us as well as the ones that have been with us through the entire uh, video series. We appreciate your comments and your uh, kind words to us. I hope that everybody out there has a happy holiday and I'm looking forward to doing more videos for next year. As long as there's people watching, I'm willing to make these videos. So. Um, peace to your family and yourself, and I will see you next time. Take care. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.